please come to me, dear goddess. Do not be dragged away into the darkness. I beg of you, come back. Oh, my dear paladin, you're here. Oh, let me hold you close, so very close. Oh, do not be frightened. Be calm. You are not on the battlefield anymore. No demon could ever reach you here. Not even a mighty demon prince could ever hope to get close to us. Your duty is over, my brave paladin. And you have served so very well. That's it. Calm down in my arms. Look into my eyes and be embraced in my light. Who am I? <laughs> oh, my dear warrior, do you not recognize my voice, my radiance, the figure that has been guiding you in your prayers, who has given you countless blessings on the battlefield, who has aided you when you attempted to aid those in need. <laughs> yes, my brave paladin. And it's me, Iona, the bringer of life, justice, and order, goddess of the light, the very goddess you swore a life oath to. <laughs> no, you are not dreaming. You have died, my brave soldier. I watched your last moments, defending a poor settlement against a horde of despicable demons, your flaming sword swinging around as if possessed, radiant holy light emanating from your hands, purifying the wretched hellspawn, your shining armor reflecting in the sunlight, and you looked just like one of my angels. I tried to aid you with as many blessings as I could, but my influence in the mortal plane is limited, and when a demon prince appeared, I feared the worst. But you did not flinch. You powered straight through and sacrificed yourself to kill the infernal creature. And as you died, I did all I could to not let the creature pull your soul with it down into the darkness. And luckily I succeeded. I would not have known what I would have done were I not able to recover you. Hmm, <laughs> yes. I suppose you must be wondering where you are exactly. You are in my personal domain. My chambers, in my divine palace to be exact. I suppose this is what you would call heaven. The souls of devout followers of mine are able to find peace here when their life on the mortal plane is finished. Uh, I... I will be frank with you. No, not everyone gets a personal greeting by me, much less waking up in my arms. Usually my angels deal with this. <laughs> it is all right. You don't have to leave my arms. If I did not want you to be in this position, I would not have summoned you this way. Let me explain. Though, of course, I try to show my love to anyone who worships and prays to me. Sometimes a particular individual piques my interest, and I must confess that I became especially interested in you. In the beginning, you were not much different than other paladins. A young peasant boy 
swearing a holy oath in my name to protect and aid those in need and drive out the darkness wherever it may appear. Though most of my paladins mean well, mortals do have their vices. Some get corrupted in one way or another. Some just cannot find the willpower to go do good as their oaths command them. In most cases, I do not entirely blame them. They are only human after all. But after a while, you caught my eye, mortal. You did not follow the church doctrine exactly down to every rule, but that's not something I really care about. Those are just rules thought up by humans for other humans to follow. No. I saw something different. I saw the purity within you. The light within your heart. Your unconditional kindness. Your willingness to actually help. Actually try and make a difference. And it touched me. Unlike some of the high paladins in their offices of power, you were willing to personally go down to the dark places of humanity and show those poor souls the brightness of my light. Slums, infirmaries, criminal underworlds, orphanages, the bloody remnants of battlefields. Everywhere you went, you approached people with genuine kindness without prejudice, from something small like giving an orphan on the street some of your last remaining bread, saying last prayers of comfort to dying soldiers, healing sick souls in overcrowded slums with my blessings, to rescuing poor slave girls from illegal underground brothels. You were a shining example of a real paladin. And... On the battlefield, you fought with the fury of an angel, purging corruption wherever it appeared, protecting those who were not able to protect themselves. You were never afraid to throw yourself the claws of a demon or the spears of some bandits if it meant others would be saved. I began to notice you more and more until I could not help myself but to watch your every action. As you had noticed yourself, I began to advise you in your prayers, encouraging you and trying to help you through making tough decisions. I aided you when you were healing others, making sure your blessings were as effective as possible. When the host of demons attacked the town you currently resided in, I despaired. Your end was nigh, and I could sense it. You still had so many years to go, but they would be cut short. And when you sacrificed yourself so that you could kill the demon prince, I knew I needed to have you by my side, no matter the cost. <laughs> yes, do not worry. Your sacrifice was not in vain. The demons quickly fell after the death of their leader. <sighs> I, I need to confess something, dear mortal. You did something to me that no mortal has ever done to me before, my sunny paladin. I became absolutely infatuated with you. You were everything I wanted my paladins to be. Kind, self-sacrificing, honest, just an overall sense of honor. Though I love all of my followers, the love I developed for you is something different, something more. It is a desire stronger than anything I have ever felt before. You have no idea how I long for you. It seems that through your devotion to me, 
You, in turn, have made me utterly devoted to you, my adorable mortal. <laughs> oh, I want you to be with me. Spend the rest of time by my side. Be one with me in a union of love and devotion. I cannot demand anything of you, and I understand if you would rather find your peace somewhere else in this domain, but I would want nothing more than for you to be by my side. You deserve it more than any mortal. <sighs> you truly mean it. Oh, thank you, my handsome, sweet paladin. You have no idea how much I desired this. You will be so happy here, my love. I will guarantee it. You have always labored so hard, fought so valiantly, suffered a great many pains. Let me take care of you now. You do not need to do anything, my chosen paladin. My love, I want to make you feel like you are in heaven. <laughs> I want to show you how deeply I adore you. Hmm. goddess so incredibly happy my love I want to ask you something do you know where my angels come from <laughs> yes they are the souls of those possessing especially good moral fiber for which I have granted additional powers they were once normal people like you Yes, my love, I want you to be one of my angels, but not just any angel. I want you to be my advisor, my personal guard. You will always be by my side, advising and assisting me when both troubles in the mortal or celestial plane require it of me. Does that sound like a good idea, my love? I am delighted to hear you think so, too. <laughs> now, let us hold each other just a little longer. 